Well, good evening. Really pleased to have your company. Do stay with us because we have got the most amazing one day special to launch right here and right now. Now you've noticed we've, put, we've got a new guest in here as well. I'm going to introduce Tracy. She's very nervous, but she's going to be absolutely amazing. Wait until you see the demonstrations. Tracy and Abs, of course, from All and Create. Uh, now then, this is going to be one lovely show. I cannot wait to see what you've got up your sleeve. I've actually had a sneaky peek. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it, especially with it being our first ever one day special. So. Of course, that is a good point, actually. The first one day special for All and Create. Now, Tracy, just before we get going, and we are going to send you away to get prepared. Tell us a little bit about yourself, how you found yourself here at Chanda, and <coughs> your role in the company. Well, I, I've been a stamper for around about 20 years. Uh, I love mixed media, really wherever the process takes <coughs> me, I just, I enjoy the process. Uh, I joined All and Create um, uh, almost three years ago. Uh, abs sort of headhunted me. Um, and well done. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> uh, and I joined the, the team and literally as a, as a designer, uh, creating videos for the online courses and things, that's how we started. Uh, and then Abs asked if I'd like to design some stamps and here we are today. Yes, so. now then, we are going to look at the one day special first, but all of the stamps that we've got on the show today are designed by Tracy. We've got stencils as well, but the stamps are Tracy's designs. Now we're going to let Tracy go and get prepared, so Black. we'll be with you very, very <laughs> soon. And myself and Abs are going to go down the counter and show you everything that we can, you know, within reason, because we do want to get to demonstration area, but we're starting right here with the one day special. Now, this is an amazing bundle for you. Now, what we've got here is a stamp set, uh, including four different stamps, but you have got an exclusive stamp set as well here, which is free. That's worth 11 99 You can see that there on the screen as well. But look at the price. A great saving of £12 and a flexi-buy option as well. Two payments here spread the cost of just £23.98. 736806. Now we'll have a close look at each and every one of the stamps and we've got the most amazing samples to show you as well. So Abs, tell us all about this bundle. Obviously Trace's designed it, but uh, yeah. you tell us all about it. So hi everyone. <laughs> um, so here as you can see, yeah, this our one day special bundle. So as you can see, you have four stamp sets, including the bundle. You have two A5 stamp sets and two A6 stamp sets. And you have another A6 stamp set, which is an exclusive stamp set for people who buy the one day special and it's designed for, um, it's exclusive for the show. Um, so as you can see here, the first two stamp sets, um, they're A5, as you can see loads of flowers with some sentiments. Um, they work very well together and you can also mix the stamp sets, um, flowers and sentiments from different stamp sets. Yeah. And then the two other A6, one of them is with background and one of them is with the hexagons there. Um, that background, as you can see, there's loads of details in it. There's sentiments, there's um, some words in it. As you can see, there's many marks in there. So it's very great for um, creating backgrounds, for layering, for mixed media, for art, or whatever you want. And also the hexagon there, you can also use it in many ways. This is the exclusive one that you're getting free as well, worth 11 99 You cannot get it anywhere else. It's only here. Now, it comes with a one-day special, not with the other items, so just part of the one-day special. But let's have a look at some inspiration. Let's have a look at some of these samples because they are just incredible. Where should we start from? Well, <laughs> I'm going to pick this one up because... Not only is it on the top of the pile, but it really is eye-catching. Isn't this it beautiful? It is, yeah. So this first sample here, this frame here, is m done by Joe Rice, as you can see here. Um, three cards um, hanging there, and you can see many stamps used, and the stencil that we show you later on. Um, as you can see, the sentiments. This stamp set, this bundle here, is you have plenty of design, plenty of elements to create a full Definitely. project from background to sentiments to focal points to everything. And if you're learning, if you're mixed media, whatever your style, what can I add? <laughs> I love this style. Do you know, it speaks for itself. I think yeah. it's absolutely beautiful. We've got so many. Now, I was, you know, I was questioning, if that sounds right, Tracy before the hour, actually, and said how many of these actual samples were the design team. And Tracy told me that every one of these cards has come from the design team. It's Tracy's own work that we're going to see in the demonstrations, but she wanted to showcase the design team's work because they've worked so, so incredibly hard. 
Now look at these. Let's just have a look through a few more as well. So this sample here by um, um, Curry here, as you can see, but this the first one is by Lorna, and the second one is of course from the Netherlands. And uh, the design team really worked very hard to create different samples. And as you can see here, two more two more samples here, very colourful. But also I want to say about this one, um, the stem cells that you can see, you can use them the flower as it is, as you can see, both are done by Curry. But also you can create another flower using. Is this ah, very you can clever. see stem three times and create a different flower there. So it's a very clever way of using it. Um, also can use the background or the stems from the one day special Absolutely bundle. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Now look at this one as well. Isn't this amazing? All of the different colours used. It doesn't matter what colour scheme you go with here. That cover of drawer oh, made by Debbie amazing. Martin. Gorgeous. And then I can see this is by Lorna. Isn't that yeah. gorgeous Another as well. piece, our journal piece by Lorna, and we have another one. We don't have only card, um, uh, only on paper, paper craft project. We also have some other oh. um, decorations you can see here. Wow, oh. so a slate plaque here as well. Now then, I know Abs has just picked up something that I do want to make sure you see, because one of the design team, I believe it's Debbie, does an awful lot with fabric. Pay attention to Tracy's apron when we get to her as well. But look at this. So not just for your cards, not just for your journaling, not just for your canvases, but also stamps, of course, for your fabrics as well. Aren't these just beautiful? Amazing. Yeah, I love this case in here. Yeah. Now, 10% of the stock is already gone. We're off to a busy, busy start there. Details still on the screen. We've got so many samples. We'll make sure we see more of those as we go throughout the hours. Two payments of 23.98. If you want to take advantage of the flexi buy option there, 47.96. That's carrying a saving of 12 pounds. Don't forget, you've got that exclusive stamp included in there as well, worth 11.99. 736.806. Now we are going to move down because we've got more to show you again designed by Tracy and we've got some A4 stamps here and these are incredible abs aren't they they're absolutely are. they give you so many options with the use you know quite often we don't want to use the whole of the stamps you can but there's so many elements within these i agree yes i agree so and many people like we saw now from different shares here on her channel we do many a4 stamp sets and me personally when i demo them i always say they're my favorite size um the a4 stamp set because i see them as many many stamp set not only as one stamp set because can you see how many elements they are you can use them of course as you can see for example here as one piece if you want to create if you want to stem the whole project and um, use it as one piece or you can just pick the element or the small detail that you want to highlight in your project and use it and um wow just incredible so this is a sample by joe i can see yeah. uh, joe's name is on the back so it's easy for me to tell <laughs> but it does show how beautiful how beautifully can work with those whole stamps at a4 size you are going to get an acrylic block as well don't know if you notice this on the screen there but another new today these are amazing let's see some more samples obviously not always using the whole stamp here using elements from them as well so as you can see here this one here on my right hand side with um, the card created by Corey from netherlands and uh, the second one is a journal by Debbie Martin. As you can see, oh, sorry, that journal is with a hexagon actually. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> As you oh, can wow. see, yeah. Let's just hold it's this up. Look at this one. So you see two very different looks depending on how you use the stamps themselves. And you're getting the two A4 stamps here and the acrylic block. You've got the numbered botanical and time flies here. 51.97. Now we're saving £10 on this one. Two payments of 25.99 if you're going to take advantage of the flexi buy. Now busy on this one as well. We're approaching already 10% of the stock gone. 657.641. I'm just going to quickly show you if I can because I just found it. Oops. Whether you go with very little colour or lots of colour, just yeah, beautiful. You need to get that yeah. the right way up, actually. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now then, busy on that one as well. We're going to move down because we've got more to show you and we do want to get to Tracy as soon as possible. So more stamps, of course, again, designed by Tracy. Now we've got another ac acrylic block in this bundle as well. Of course, it's going to suit the size of the stamps that you're seeing here. Now these are your border stamps and block. Again, look at the detail in these stamps and the most amazing samples at the back here. But talk us through these as individuals, first of all, within this bundle. 
uh, Civican plays. Yeah, so here is another bundle of four stamp sets. They are border size and long stamp set. As you can see here, um, most of the stamp sets here they come with a focal point, but also some mini elements for the background. So you can either use it as it is, a whole stamp set. So you'll have both the focal point and the background, or you can just pick up the elements that you want. For example, you can use just part of it for a background, or you can use a flower as a focal point. And um, we're going to show you some samples here where you can see um, both ways of using the product. So this is a journal, as you can this see, and on the background, just only on the back of the cover. Yeah. Look at that, gorgeous. And then they're using a completely different way. Yeah, that one is by Kath Stewart, and um, she made Amazing. that one. For people who like sewing, again, another project, not only a paper card project. Now, this is great. Don't forget, you can stamp on your fabric and then embroider or use your beads and things like that to create beautiful uh, with, with your fabrics and your soft fabrics as well, your soft uh, crafts. It's absolutely amazing. Now the colours again, that's entirely up to you. But this is stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you like mixed wow. media and creating car canvases, or, oh, sorry, that way around, that one is by Tracy Evans, where she created this stunning piece. As you can see, look at the dimension, look at the details Beautiful. using um, one of the stamp sets as well. And here, if you like watercolour, you can just, um, on oh, your stamp so set, um, this one is done by Monique. As you can see, just water colour the element from your stamp set and then stamp it. That's give you um, another look. I'm trying to show them. So because many the texture options. Here, yeah. And or you can, this one is by Amanda, where you can also stamp the whole stamp sets. Just beautiful. Well, there you are. Details on the screen, 140840. You can go for individuals as well, but the, the saving is there in the bundle, isn't it? Now, we're going to move down again, and then hopefully we'll get to Tracy. I know she's raring to go. Now, another lovely set. Now, different size stamps again here, Abs, and uh, beautiful designs once again. Yeah, another bundle designed by Tracy Evans. Those here, a size stamp set. We have three stamp sets. Um, as you can see, you have MFRs, you have flowers, you have the hands with the heart, you have the wings and um, this bundle is very different than the previous bundles and again you can use that for any car if any style you want to do um you can you can do it with cards mixed media or whatever and <coughs> Here, um, Catherine is showing you the first sample by Anna Rutman here, as you can Isn't see. That beautiful? That is really on acrylic. We'll come in close to this in a second. There you go. Isn't that just amazing? And then once again, something to totally contrast, but yeah. just as beautiful if you're going for the card. And I can see Ab's picked up uh, another wonderful piece. So think more than your cards, more than your little decor pieces. Yeah, uh, think home I decor. Yeah, this stamp set, you can use that for anything you want. Home decor, as you said, fabric, paper, Beautiful. and whatever you want. This one is also made by Anna Ruthven, where you can see um, she really shakes very well the stamps in that one. And here, as you can see, um, that tag here. I believe that one is by Debbie, I think. I'm going to turn that around, actually, yeah, because we can sides. see both sides there. Isn't that beautiful? Twenty-seven ninety-seven for this bundle. Again, a great saving for you. £8 is the saving on this one. Item number 785049. And, of course, here you can see on the screen, you've got your flourishing vase, your curiosities, and your quirky blossoms. In fact, 28 stamps in total. Isn't that clever? So yeah, 27 stamps in total. That's another sample done. The first Amazing. one they showed it was by Kath, but this one is by Jo Rice. And I love how she used the wings with the feathers there to really give dimensions. And it's another clever way. Beautiful. Right, now then, we have got more to show you a bit later on, but we want to get to Tracy as quickly as we can because she's ready for us. Now, as we make our way down to demonstration area, I'm going to let you know about some happy hour deals that we've got available as well. Now, the first one is our mail art stamp set. Now, this is a happy hour deal. As you can see there, you're saving eight pounds. This is an enormous saving. Just 9.99 for this hour, of course. There you go. 861252 is the item number. Then the next one here, just as wonderful, we have got here, oh, the penciled flower. It's an A4 stamp, this one, so a very large size. Of course, you can take elements from it or use it as the overall stamp. $17.99 is the price for happy hour. Six pounds saving on this one as well, 131752. And we've got one more for you as well. We've got the ladybug, so we'll bring that up. Wow, another A4 stamp here for you. A great saving once again of £6. Just £17.99. 
do take advantage of the happy hour deals 220903. Now we've let Abs go off and put his feet up for a minute and we're going to stay with Tracy now at demonstration area. This is a moment we've been waiting <laughs> for. Please send in your support of course for Tracy as well. Uh, we know she's got many followers out there but Tracy what are we going to achieve here I in demonstration? I just wanted to give a big shout out to Debbie first. Of so course. thanks for the apron Debbie. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it really is amazing. So I'm hoping that we can create these three cards. Wow. Um, they all use the shaving foam technique. And yes, I've used them on cars, but the idea is that you can take all these techniques and use them on canvases or fabric, wonderful. whichever direction you want to take them in. But that's what I'm hoping to do today. Absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to see these. Okay, so we're going to start with some shaving foam. Okay. Uh, common shaving foam. and. When I'm doing this at home, then I usually use a Tupperware container okay. because I'll do several backgrounds in one sitting. I see, yeah. Because I'm here for the show, I'm just putting brown paper down, something quick. Wonderful. So I give the shaving foam a shake because you need it light and frothy for this technique. Okay, wonderful. And then grab your shaving foam and hope your label doesn't fall off. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then I'm using Distress Oxide Reinkers. And if I can just get you to do something, Catherine, would you, okay. be, would you mind shaking these bottles for me? I Forget certainly that, just can. These. Just these here? Yes, we're using a Distress Oxide Reinker, and that's a pigment dye fusion. So the, the, the wonderful thing about these is that you can layer colours without creating mud. So that's fantastic when you're using the shaving foam. You can use things like brushos and sprays and things like that and paints in your shaving foam. But I love to use the Distress Oxide Reinkers because the colours are nice and bright and I don't make any mud. Wonderful. Because if, you, if you're not aware of the colour wheel or if you're like me and you just go for it and you don't worry, then at least with these you know that because there's an opaque quality that you won't create mud when you're layering them. Wonderful. Can't wait to so see this. So I'm just adding the colours. You can add as many or as few colours as you like to your concoction. Okay. It's entirely up to you. Lovely. I've chosen these just for brightness and a touch of red. The hardest decision is really what colours to use. Amazing. And then a touch of green and then we'll get to using the stencil. Because we're actually not going to use this the way that's been used for many years. We're going to use it through a, through a stencil. So oh, I can't we're going to, see to stir ah. our shaving foam. So and just use using the, the end of a paintbrush there. Yeah, Ideal just the tool. end of a paintbrush. So you can use a, a little stick, anything at all. If I put that there, is that not in the way of the camera? No, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm now going to take my stencil. Okay. And then we use a credit card, an old credit card, best use for an old credit card. And pick up your shaving foam and apply that through your stencil. Oh, wow. So you're just literally scooping off the top of the shaving foam there. Yeah. And applying it through your stencil. You then lift that off. Wow, look at that already, isn't that amazing and to see? And then the colour intensifies when I hit it. Oh. Now what stencil are we using here, We're using Tracy? lots of dots. Lots of dots. We will find the details for that for you, actually. That is an incredible stencil. Doesn't that look amazing with the shaving foam? So easy to do as well. Love it, absolutely love it. So we give that... Sorry. Details are just coming up for that particular stencil as well for you because we've got a number of stencils available. There you go, you've got the uh, four stencils in this one. Weathered tiles, you've got the mock, mock crop, the lots of dots is the one we're using and broken circle as well. A great price on these as well, a saving of £4. 1996. you can see everything there on the screen. These are, these are just fantastic. 086084. And I'm actually hitting the shaving foam now just so that the um, ink goes down to the, bo the bottom and the shaving foam raises to the top. I see. And okay. you'll see some circles appearing. That's part of the technique. Ah. Can you see it pops? I can see it. So it's a little bit like, well, you can see it very easily actually on the screen there, but it's kind of a, like the effect you get with water into your oxides when you, yeah. you do the faux exactly. bleaching. But you're doing that with the shaving foam it and then you just It smells nice that. as well, I've got to tell you. Yes, it does smell <laughs> nice. And then that's our first background. Okay, wonderful. But obviously, if you use different colours, you get different finishes okay. to your card. There so you it obviously Lovely. depends what colours you use. So we'll use one of those backgrounds to create our okay. card shortly. And then I don't want to waste this ink. So I'm just going to stir that again. And then just to create my couple of other backgrounds so we can create the cards. Okay. I'm just going to use a die cut circle and apply it through the die cut circle. Oh, so you're using the, the die cut circle as a stencil yeah. now. 
You see, every time you make a die cut and you throw those bits away, stop doing it. Yeah, you don't need to throw them away. And this gives, you know, another dimension to your cards or your fabric or onto your canvases, whatever. And if you can see now, you can see that it starts you, to bubble. You certainly can. You can see it nicely on the screen there as well. This is fascinating. And then we've just got one quick other background and then we can get on to using our stamps. Oh, can't wait. So I've got one already prepared, so that's not a problem. And then just so that we don't waste all that ink. Again, every time you do that little stir there with the end of the paintbrush, you're getting a different pattern exactly. forming. The colours are mixing differently. You're never going to see the same thing twice, are you? And also, you, you, when you're sitting at home, you would create lots of backgrounds at the same time. Oh, wow, look at this. So we then just... You wouldn't put that in the bin like me. <laughs> No, waste, waste not, want not. Do put it in a, a, an airtight container so you can reuse the foam afterwards, of course. Then you we'll have, have to use it in that session. Yes. You wouldn't be able to keep yeah. it overnight but it, or anything. It keeps it yeah. From, yeah. from being disturbed. Now then, we've had a lovely email from Anne. Oh, look at this. Oh, I wasn't expecting that then. So that gives us a marbled technique. Isn't that clever? It means you've got three backgrounds for your cards and I'm all about the backgrounds. So I like Just to... Just beautiful. Do you know... Anne, I know you've emailed in. I'll find out what Anne's emailed in about. Uh, but that was kind of one of those where it's like, oh, didn't expect that. <laughs> so just give that a dry and then I'll remove the excess foam and then we'll get on to our stamping. Uh, well, Anne says, how wonderful to see Tracy demonstrating. Thank you so much, Achanda. Thanks, Big Anne. fan there. Oh, bless Anne. Thank you. She's a very good friend. She's always been very supportive. So thank you, Anne. Well... I'm wondering how you know which Anne it is. We've got lots of fans that email in. <laughs> is it the Anne you think it is, or I'm is it a different it's the Anne? Anne that we think it is? Who I'm knows? It's Anne Who Redfin. knows? <laughs> you are actually right. Yeah. But there are lots of fans that email in. I'm sure there's plenty more out there. Yes. Do if you want to uh, ask any questions, of course, don't hesitate to email in. We can't always promise to get to everything because we do get inundated quite often as well with it, with uh, various emails, whether it's for support, whether it's questions, whether you want to see a technique or be reminded of something. But do take the time if you want to know something or just give the support to Tracy, of course, and to Abs also as well, because it's the first one day special. Do let us know. Studio at achanda.com. I'm just looking down there because I don't want to miss anything because so, I've been so excited excited about this show <laughs> so I'm now actually creating a spotlight for my flower which just means that that, that it will draw the eye into the card Wonderful. so I'm just creating a spotlight for my flower and we're then going to add some texture to our design as well oh amazing I'm going to give our Leonie a mention, actually, because quite often, and you'll, you'll hear us say it, we talk about show envy. We love all the shows, but sometimes if you've got a particular interest or you've not worked with a guest before, you think, oh, I'm really excited about that show. And sometimes Leonie gets them like, oh, I wanted that. Today, I know Leonie is missing. Abs <laughs> and, of course, Tracy. And uh, you've known Leonie some time. Yeah, you've worked together, yeah. haven't yeah. you? And uh, Leonie... Show me. I've got this one. <laughs> so we're now going to add a, a touch of texture okay. to, our, to our design. Because if you look at the card on this one here. This one? This one. Oh, this one here. I've added right, the let's circles. Just show that. So no, it's this is stencil. the lots of circles. It's no, not this the is lots, not lots is of dots. Which one this is, is this one? one? So I use that one first and so then we're we using this one. we can find the details so we can bring it all up. Can you up. see it in the top corner? You can, just here. Yeah. This is what we're looking at at the moment. So there we are. We'll see if we can find the details for that particular stencil for you as well. We do find in demonstrations, obviously, when you're seeing things being used, you take a particular fancy to uh, what's being demonstrated. <laughs> now, Tracy, so I'm you applying the scoop. texture paste, but I don't tend to keep scraping over okay, because yeah. that's when your your texture paste seeps under the stencil. Okay. I tend to just swipe it once, remove. Oh. Don't worry about what's on there, and then if you want to add a touch more, I just carry on and I add some more. Uh, texture paste so I don't mess around with it too much else it seeps under your stencil okay. so just add some more because you can add that back to your pot it's not a problem so that's then our texture wow you're getting real depth there as exactly, well exactly because you're not messing with it you're no. not you're not keep doing this over your stencil so you see this is it this is it again we've got a new guest well you have been here once before Tracy, once it's a long time ago um, <laughs> 
I don't know why Tracy's not been back in between that once and now, <laughs> but she's certainly going to be coming back again because we're learning something every time we see a new guest, new hints and tips. Everyone finds their own way of working with things. I don't think, uh, we, we don't like to say right and wrong. Everybody finds their comfort zone, but definitely worth watching all of the demonstrations, of course, because you are going to pick up a lot of wonderful techniques here. Now, the name of the stencil, we found that out for you now. Uh, it's Digital Bubbles, so you can see the details on the screen. Once again, the whole bundle we can show you there. Uh, you've got various different items here, three stencils. We've got Connected Colony, Digital Bubbles and Splatters as well. Another fabulous buy, this one, 14 97 This carries a £4 saving. New today, 995 Lovely. OK, uh, Catherine, I've done one that I, I did before that's nice and dry. So okay, I'll put that on one side. Lovely. Uh, so this is nice and dry. Uh, I'm now going to use the eclectic stems from the One Day Special. Uh, and my idea behind this flower was that you could stamp it onto your mixed media backgrounds. And obviously yeah. the mixed media background would then show through the opening of the I flower. I see, perfect. And then if yes. you use like book pages and things like that. Oh, that would look amazing. So I'm just inking my stamp up and I always say to a lot of my followers that I don't just ink my stamp once and then I always give it a good inking. It doesn't matter whether that's a small stamp, a large stamp, I always give a good inking to the stamps. Wonderful. Just to give good coverage. Okay. Just remove that. Now then, we've heard from Cathy as well. Do you know Cathy by any chance? Yes, yeah, oh, I do. <laughs> how do you know which Cathy it is, Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> it could be a different Cathy, but anyway, whoever you are, Cathy, thank you for emailing in. Again, another supporter of Tracy. So many people have been excited. Now, Cathy is saying thank you for showing us a new technique with shaving foam. Uh, do you know, I've seen shaving foam used before, but not quite in that way. So we're all learning all of the time. I hope you're taping this as well because you are going to refer back to it. Now, I can see exactly what you mean there, Tracy, with the fact that you can see through there. You see that flower, but you're not losing that background. And, of course, you can still put layers on top of there yeah, as well. Yeah, and obviously I'm going to make that a dimensional flower because I've now stamped that flower onto the shaving foam background so that that will go on top of the, the black, just so that it's just not it's not too flat and it's got dimension. If you, don't, if you like flat cards, then that's great. But if I was stamping... As a flat image, I wouldn't use black ink there. Yeah. Because I've got that lots of colour, I'd use a coordinating archival ink pad yep. for that. Perfect. So because I created a spotlight on my wet one, I'm just going to create a spotlight around my dry. Okay. So obviously very well prepared as well, I've got to say, Tracy. She's got everything step by step. So you've seen the techniques as they happen, but also the version's already ready to go and dried. So we can see the finished results, of course, as well. So, do you know, this is great for demonstration, isn't it? No wonder Tracy's got such a support group behind her. I have to say thank you for all the messages, sorry. Oh, no, it's all right. 20% of the stock of the one day special has gone. I know, Tracy, that everybody's been excited about seeing you here today. Whether you've met these people or not, there is a lot of support out there. I do there keep been. an eye on social media myself, and uh, I have seen it. I knew the show was coming up, and it has been lovely, actually, to see the support out there. They have. They've been brilliant. And people don't have to leave messages, so I really do appreciate that. Oh. So I'm now going to add some cotton, just to add a further texture to my design because I'm Ooh, all about lovely. textures and layers in my designs so we're, we're just adding machine cotton uh, and I'm just adding that behind my flower now here's a point if you are a soft crafter or you know one collect all those bits of thread up exactly. and recycle them use them and then I'll just trap that with some adhesive wonderful okay and the adhesive actually works which is a good sign Normally, if I do a Facebook Live, my adhesive doesn't work. Oh, get used to it, Tracy. <laughs> it will happen live on air. It's one of the most frequently <laughs> mentioned things. We test our glue beforehand. <laughs> it comes to demonstration. We knew it was working, and all of a sudden, nothing comes out. <laughs> so now I've got the sentiment that from the same stamp set. Stunning. I love so it. I've stamped that out for you, because obviously, we all know how to stamp a, a sentiment. And we're just going to add that to the base of the card. I'm going to say something here, Tracy, and this is said in the, in the best possible way. Yeah. I know this is something that I've thought before, and I know there's a lot of people out there that think the same thing. Sometimes when we look at stamps that aren't necessarily the pretty flowers that we see in vases and that sort of thing, something yeah. a little bit more abstract, doodly, more mixed media, yeah. and quite often you see the stamps in the packs and you think, I don't quite know what to do with it. 
But when we see demonstrations like this and what you're creating, this is real art. And I just, I'm absolutely already blown away with what I'm seeing in front of me. The samples with the design team are incredible. But do you know what? How can you not love something like this? And the creativity that you're achieving here, and everybody can achieve this. Yeah, they really can. That's the thing that I like to, if I do Facebook Lives at home, I always like to say to everybody that there are no mistakes in art. It's, it's all achievable. It, you know, it doesn't matter whether you like different colours, you like canvases, you don't like cards. It's all achievable and you can adapt the techniques. You certainly And can. really, if, if all I do is, is encourage one person or inspire one person, then I'm happy. But if I just bring that stamp in there yeah. and put them side by side, who would have known from that one stamp? Yes, we've used other things in the background there, but isn't that just incredible? I'm going to show you the finished sample as well there, just so you can see that. Now, Tracy's got lots more to show us. Uh, we're going to give you a little bit of a recap, and we've got some more inspiration, by the way, of a video for you as well, which I can't wait to see. Uh, so we'll be back with Tracy in a little while, but just take a look at this inspiration. Wow, how can you not be inspired there? And I've got apron envy as well. Looking at it there on the screen, it's beautiful. Now then, I could be making my own. I need all of this, don't I? Just like you do. Now, we're going to give you uh, some items that we didn't see as we went down the counter the first time. We've seen them on the stills, but here we've got the stencils. Now, you've seen Tracy using a couple of stencils already. This is one bundle. We've got four stencils in this particular bundle. We've got weathered tiles, the mock rock, lots of dots, and broken circle. Now, we did see the lots of dots in the demonstration, in the first part of the demonstration, I should say, but each and every one of these is so, so usable absolutely amazing and a great price as well 19.96 is the price that's four pounds saving here as well item number 086084 and i can tell you already 30 percent of the stock has gone on this particular bundle i have a couple more samples here to show you as well so it really does show you the the use that you can get from these stencils so using just one of them from the bundle there isn't that amazing whether you're using just inks whether you're using spritzers whether you're using texture paste just amazing work that you can create with these stencils just fantastic aren't they there you go very busy on that bundle now we have got another bundle for you so we're going to move on down oh i'm just looking at the samples again here i love them now then this bundle different again so we're going to give you the details first of all now what we've got here is another four stencils in this bundle you've got the barbary stars letters doily and human here as well so another wonderful collection here a great mix of designs all equally as usable and uh, a great price once again, 19.96. That's a saving of four pounds. Item number 198107. And I've got an amazing sample to show you here as well. Look at this. Look at that, just beautiful. Now you're seeing obviously stamped images as well as stamped stenciled images, but you can be creating artwork like this using the items on today's show. Just amazing. Now another set of stencils coming up. So we're gonna move down again. Now then, we've got a set of three coming up next. I've got some more artwork at the back here as well. Now, we did have a hint of these earlier. So we've got our Connected Colony, the Digital Bubbles, and also the Splatters. And it was the Digital Bubbles that we used also in the demonstration with Tracy there. And since that demonstration, I can tell you half of the stock has now gone on this particular bundle. Great price once again, 14.97, four pound saving, 995.870. And there's a, a lovely piece of artwork here at the back 
back as well showing how you can use those different stencils again you know it's entirely up to you whether it's fabric paper canvases journals it really doesn't matter there is so much scope for creativity here absolutely amazing now I've got one more set of stencils to show you at the end of the counter here a little bit different in design this time with regard shape as well as the actual designs of the stencils because we've got these here which are absolutely beautiful as well three stencils you've got the film strip the circle chain and also the flower dream so the longer stencils here uh, but just as beautiful look at the designs and I have got some samples to show you for these as well these are just amazing. There you are, 460136 is the item number, a three pound saving on this bundle, 14 pounds and 97 pence. When to see the film strip coming up? Look at this, isn't that lovely? Love that. Great bundle once again. So busy across the board. You're liking everything you're seeing there. In fact, let's take you to the website so you can look at everything in more detail. Of course, with the one day special, don't forget you're getting that exclusive stamp. Now you can't buy that anywhere else and it's only part of the one day special. There are individuals available on certain items as well, but not for the exclusive stamp there. Don't forget you've got the A4 stamps with the acrylic block. You've got uh, various different size bundles here. Uh, just stunning and hopefully we'll get much more time to show you demonstrations with Tracy and also maybe more samples don't quite know what happened there that went very fast <laughs> It was literally whizzed our way through the website there. Don't forget those happy hour deals as well. We've got three happy hour deals with great savings. In fact, there were two A4 stamps and also we had a smaller stamp as well. Various uh, different sizes. It was an A5, the other one. All three are very, very busy. I'm not surprised because the savings were just fantastic. Now then, we're back with Tracy. So we're going to see what we're going to do next. Moving on the stage. Okay, so the plan was to do the two cards okay. with the other backgrounds, but Lovely. I thought, why don't we showcase, go off at a tangent, which is what I do most of the time anyway, and never go to plan, but why don't we show the limited edition stamp instead? Fabulous. Um, Lovely. And just to show exactly what the viewers are getting, um, they obviously get this limited edition, edition stamp if they buy the one day special. Um, and I designed this especially for that. Oh, wonderful. Do you know, I'm really pleased that you're using this, Tracy, because it is the only way that you can get that stamp. So if you do want it, you, I'm sure you're going to like what you see. How can you not? So, uh, but, you know, more inspiration to show how you can use the stamps in at least a couple of ways. So I'm going to use the background we created before because we don't want to waste that. Of course um, not. And I'm hoping, if I ask nicely, that you will cut the butterflies out while I do the background. I shall certainly do that <laughs> for you. So I'm just inking them up with VersaFine Clair. I tend to use a VersaFine Clair ink pad because it's got a good open time and the ink doesn't dry out too quickly. And that just wow. shows the wonderful detail oh, on the stamp. Does. Look at that. Uh, I'm Look really at the detail pleased with the there detail. There's actually some tracing. numbers in there uh, and a pen nib uh, and the detail. Wow is really beautiful i'm always amazed even though i've designed for a few years now i'm always amazed by the detail that's achieved from a drawing you draw something and you've got no concept until you suddenly print it out do you know i've just heard our lovely producer say and also i didn't i didn't realize that the center of the body there was the nib to a pen until yeah. you just stamp that out yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So I'm just going to dry that because okay. we've got an ink with an, a good open time and then if you don't mind cutting me that out. I don't mind at all. Because we've gone off on a tangent just again. Lovely. This is what I do at home. I always go off on a tangent. And you need That's to give it down. a good dry. Okay. And just make sure it's dry because when you use a VersaFine Claire it has got a good open time. Okay. Are you happy right. with small scissors I'm, or I'm big scissors? I'm happy with that. I don't mind either way but sure? these are fine. Tracy I've got to tell you there's so much support for you. Oh, uh, we've you. had no end of emails come in. I'm just hearing that. So obviously we have had so many we can't possibly mention everyone by name <laughs> but we'll give you a few. Let's let's Doreen has been in touch. Yes. Christina also. Julie. Not sure which Julie it is. Uh, what was that one? Nana D, do we know who Nana yeah, D is? Yeah. Thank you so right, much. Wonderful. Joanne, Elizabeth, there's absolutely loads and loads and loads. So now, Tracy kind. may know some of them, but I know for a fact she doesn't know all of no, them. No, I don't. Because we've had so <laughs> many, so many emails of support come in. Right, I'll keep cutting, Tracy, okay. you just take so it away. So what I'm doing with the, the next background, because this is off the cuff, I okay. actually created this background as part of these cards that I created. It was a, a, I always have a piece of card as an extra to brayer off any excess paint. Okay. So I always brayer out my paint and never go straight onto the card, ever. 
I right, always okay, spray. Lovely. And then just a light touch, don't go too much, and that's enough for a background. Oh, wonderful. And then while we've got a second piece of card, because it's sacrilege to waste that ink, so we won't waste that ink. That's the word I was looking for yesterday. I was <laughs> trying to think of the word of how to, and I was saying it's criminal, which <laughs> does work, but your word is better. I don't normally remember my ways. Uh, you can ask some <laughs> of the people that watch my Facebook lives. I normally stand there with something in my hand and say, can you just tell me what this is? I can't remember the word. <laughs> So we just give that paint a little dry and then we're okay. going to use our stencil again. Wonderful. And I love using just little touches of the stencils. And the stencils are really fabulous quality because if you're like me and you throw lots of medium at the stencils, these can just take it. Yeah. There's, there's a, yeah. They've got a they lot of stability. They are great quality. We'll try and find out which set this particular stencil's from as well for you. Um, we have got so many different bundles, all very busy as well, I can tell you right across the board all the items are busy now i think this is from the human set let's see if we can find it we'll yes, bring up uh, the image for you to see of course once we've found it i'm just looking down and checking i'm not cutting anything i shouldn't <laughs> cut away from the butterfly there we go there you can see on the screen there yes we've got the barbary stars the letters doily and human all within that one bundle busy on this one 1996 saving of four pounds so if you're liking what you're seeing right now this is where that particular stencil that trace is using has come from and that just gives lots of dimension if you don't keep swiping over your stencil and you just do it once you get a lot more dimension to your stencil and what i say to uh, a, a lot of people who sort of follow me and they're just starting out crafting always try a basic background just with a couple of layers of paint that gives a real pop of paint there and you've got your texture so already it doesn't have to be an over complicated card it can be a clean and simple card beautiful so absolutely beautiful just give that a dry before we put our butterflies okay. on oh, i better get cutting a bit faster than <laughs> I? I keep looking at the screen in case i'm missing anything <laughs> tracy and then i'm watching you because i don't want to miss what you're doing either then i don't want to cut into anything i shouldn't be cutting into so i'm kind of multitasking a little bit here <laughs> well, yes but we can multitask can't we we certainly can <laughs> we certainly can that's my excuse that's what i tell everybody <laughs> i can multitask so just need to give that a good dry but what I'll do is, because that's slightly wet, we'll go on to the background we've created before. Okay. And just to spotlight the butterflies that you've got for me. Oh, I do need to speed up then. Yeah, we've got yeah, one. We, we need to speed up. Oh, no. <laughs> you should be used on. to it on live Yes, but I'm, I, I am, but I'm watching and listening and uh, <laughs> I'm being told about emails and support for you, Tracy. And I don't want to miss what you're doing well, I'll because just some you're of these inspiring me as well. I okay, I'm nearly there, don't worry. I'm so I've got there. the hexagonal stem flower background here, the hexagons, because okay. we've gone off at a tangent here because we're using the limited edition stamp. So I thought, why not bring in the background that I already created I like for the that. previous card? And we'll use some of those hexagons. And I created the background exactly the same way that I did there, okay. but I added more layers of paint. Wonderful. So we'll just add that. See, now I've got a bit more time tidying up what I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I like neat cutting. <laughs> You've left the pen nib I on did, then. I did. Yes, I've left. Did you want me to leave it on? Yeah, I definitely wanted the pen Phew. nib. <laughs> well, I thought you did. I, I, I was being very careful not to chop that off. And look at my desk already. I've been here for one. Do you know that's tidy compared session. to what we normally see, Tracy? <laughs> Extremely tidy. So what I do is when I'm thinking about a design, I don't often just plonk in the centre. Sometimes there's a place for that, but because I still want to see some of this stenciling. I'm going to lay my butterflies off centre. Okay, lovely. Because I prefer it off centre. So I'm going to stick those down and we're aiming for a clean and simple design because we've done this off the cuff just to prove that you don't have to have a plan. You can just go into your craft room and create your backgrounds without a plan. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I'm going to actually pick up as Tracy's. I'm not going to disturb Tracy, but I am going to just grab hold of the exclusive stamp again so you can see this is the one in the one day special. You cannot get it any other way. And over a third of the stock now, the one day special has gone. This is the only way you're going to be able to get this particular stamp, the one that Tracy's using right now. And I can say we're going to go back to it because this is coming together so beautifully already. Not taking much time at all. Oh, I love the paint splattering. Yes, I, I usually, anybody that knows me, I keep saying that, but anybody that knows me knows that I love paint splatters. Even Ab says that, you know, I'm paint splatters mad. It's quite addictive, isn't yeah. it? But the thing is, when you're thinking about your design, it's great to have some white space. Yeah. Um, you don't have to cover the whole thing. White space is quite important. And even though I say that, I always try 
to remember to finish off the edges of your card. Okay. Just to, and I'm absolutely thrilled with that butterfly, the detail. Oh, I thought it was going to say how it was cut out then. I said, <laughs> thank you very much. I did try my best, Sorry even without that. my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll, I've a question for you, actually, Tracy. Now, you're using a sponge there, and you're holding the card up, and you're just catching the edge. Yeah. Is that so that you're not going too far into the card, rather than going with Correct. it flat? And so if you go like this, motion, yeah. I'm then going to get more ink down here. Okay. And I just want a touch of ink, because if I'm going for a clean and simple design, if I was going for a design with more layers, which you can see here on the eclectic sorry on the hexagonal stem yeah I've gone more into that because there's more color in this design there's less color in that design so I don't want to overpower everything I want to remain and leave some of that okay. white space perfect so. right do you know I'm just wondering how many people because I know you won't leave until the end of the hour how many people are going to disappear off to the supermarket to buy shaving foam <laughs> how many have already raided the cupboards in the house hoping that you're going to find some shaving foam and how many of you have already started creating with shaving foam because I bet I wouldn't mind betting Tracy there's a lot of people are kind of crafting along with you here that's lovely. because I love it when they do because that. well it's so inspiring and you, you make you making me want to think I, it's like I just I just want to have a go I just want to have a go and that's the lovely thing about having you here as, as a guest you're so, so enthusiastic you're so clever you have got a great following I do know that and uh, do you know we are seeing things that maybe you haven't seen before or certainly techniques that have been used in a different way and I've got to tell you we didn't know this card was going to happen and look at that how beautiful that is Tracy's already got all the prep done for various different things but that was done off the cuff and isn't that just beautiful and really you could just frame just it just doesn't have it. to be a card that is gorgeous and I'm really thrilled with how the butterflies have come out I have to say they but it just proves amazing. that you can use just a tiny bit of a stamp. You don't have to use the whole thing. Even out of the border stamp, I've just used three hexagons. Just stunning, isn't it? So inspiring. Now then, we're going to let Tracy just get tidied up a little bit. Not that she really needs to, but uh, as she does that, we're going to go back to the website. And, of course, we're going to remind you of the One Day Special because that's where that stamp came from, that exclusive stamp. Now, we're going to have Abs join us again because uh, we feel as though it's getting left out a little bit as well. Uh, so we will come back and see you with the One Day Special and some more samples also. Now then, do take a look at everything on the website there because don't forget there's acrylic blocks in with the bundles of stamps as well. All those stamps designed by Tracy herself. The stencils are on there as well. Busy across the board. You're loving everything. And of course, there are more shows to come. This is just the launch show. Now, Abs, welcome back. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> no wonder you've been excited all week oh, about I was, this. I was really, really enjoying the demo and Tracy did an amazing job. She so certainly did. So proud of her and she certainly did oh and she's so humble now then the one she day is, special yeah. itself we've got four stamps or four stamp sets and then the exclusive <coughs> so do you want to once again just talk us through these there's so many elements within yeah, each set so many elements i don't know how many stamps stamp designs in total but as you can see there's at least 20 i can't see just between the hexagons and the flowers um there are two a5 stamp sets here and two a6 stamp sets um all designed by tracy evans also the exclusive stamp set designed by Tracy Evans. As you can see, you have loads of sentiment, you have flowers. And all the flowers are different and they're different. But also what I like about those, I remember the day when Tracy Evans submitted the designs for the collection, when we approved them. Uh, what I liked about that they're different. They're not the flower that you can see everywhere. Of course not. They, there are loads of yeah. flower stamps in the market, but those I really, really like them because they're different. They are more personal and you can see that quirky lines on it. They can see that Tracy Evans touch on it. I really like them and I'm really, really fun of them. And the design team, what can I say? Yes, I'm going to give another <laughs> big shout out to the design team because the work is just out of this world. Do you know, whichever piece you pick up, it's incredibly beautiful. So much thought and care and attention go, gone into each piece. Yeah. So we do like to credit the design teams because they work incredibly hard. Thank you so much, design team. This one is made by Curry um, Herriman again from the Netherlands. And she created this lovely wow. um, tag book and also the background here on the back using the stencil on the shelf as well. And there's another card here uh, by Curry as well. As you can see, it's very easy, simple. You have Isn't a stamp set, a stamp, the flower sentiment, and a stencil from the the one day special yep. uh, from the show as well and um, it's so easy to go we have another card here now this one is not a card it's not a card this one it's is a coaster a, it's coaster, a coaster by Look joe rice as you can see here using um one of the a6 stamp sets and i also Amazing. love the color she did again and we have another tag here i love the colors of this this is absolutely beautiful 
and you can see the it texture here. You can, yeah, this one is by Curry Herman again. And we have um, a big tag here by um, Lorna. She created this tag using that little flower here from the A5 stamp set and using all the other stamps on the back. I don't know if you can see them here. Actually, on the background, and she used also the sentiments, and she used. Um, oh yes, you can see them. You yeah, can see also here, clever. yeah, from the. Um, you can see the background here. I'm trying to just turn a little bit from that stamp set. Wonderful. Now, don't forget, you can see there. There's fabric being used in the background there. Don't forget, you can stamp onto your fabric as well. Use it to embroider into. There's so many ways you can work with these stamps. It's just incredible. Let me show you that card by Debbie Martin. Can you see here all the flower? Oh, the work is amazing here by Debbie that. Martin using um, one of the stamp sets. She's in the background. She's as a focal point and she's as of this How 3d as, can you see that 3d flower there stamping just with Stunning. one stamp set as you as I always say, it's just amazing how the design team can use um, one stamp set all in different way. And this one is by Joe Rice, sorry, this way here also using and the hexagons in a different way. And just a quick one before we go. This is also by Joe Rice here, as you can see, to put your post-its and she stamps. Oh, never, not everyone. Now, that is dedication, isn't it? Look. That just shows <laughs> how how much enjoyment the design team have had with these stamps as well because you wouldn't go to those lengths if you weren't enjoying what you were doing now then we're going to give you a reminder of the happy hour deals because they've been very very busy as well and we will be saying goodbye to tracy and going back to tracy before the end of the hour of course now the first happy hour deal look at the prices here a six pound saving six pounds limited stock on this one this is an a4 stamp it's the penciled flower limited stock six pounds saving just 17.99 wow no wonder you've made, taken advantage of that price now another one to show you we've got the male art here as well now then eight pounds saving on this one do you know you're not that far off half price are you really when you think about it eight pounds saving just 9.99 this is an a5 stamp you've got six stamps in total in that one uh, set there as well 861252 and finally the ladybug which once again is an A4 stamp six pounds saving on this one as well 1799 just amazing you're gonna have so much fun with these I do hope you've been taping this but you can get it on rewind I'm back with Tracy because I want to thank her once again I know the support has been incredible Tracy it's been a very very busy show thank you you've, I'll tell you what you've come across so relaxed oh, thank and you. you've done such an amazing job you know it, we're going to see lots more of Tracy, aren't we? Of course, throughout the one-day special, we're going to see more of Tracy. Uh, but we have got time, I think, for another demonstration have as well. Have time? How long I have we got? I think so. We've got six minutes. OK, let's is that see okay? what we can do in six minutes. So oh, this no. is the background. So we're going off on a tangent again, so not doing okay. anything that I've planned. So this is a background that you just saw me do a couple of seconds ago. I'm actually going to take it up a step. And we're going to add some white acrylic paint to the card. You okay. may be asking yourself, why are you adding white acrylic paint to white card? The reason is that when I add my colours, the next colours, it makes everything pop. That oh, white I layer. See. Yep. That's why you get, if you want a lot of vibrancy to your cards, add a, lay, a layer of white paint. You Love add a it. layer of white paint and you'll get a lot of vibrancy. Okay. Now, for those that haven't got a brayer, Tracy, can they use a different tool? You could you could use a they could put the paint on with the fingers. Yeah. They could put the paint on with cut and dry foam with a sponge Wonderful. and they could still Brilliant. get the same technique. It, it would be slightly different look because you'd have more solid paint layers. Of course. When you've got a brayer, it's lighter layers. Yep. But that's the other good thing, isn't it? Every every technique is going to be different depending on the tool that you're using. So do experiment with what you've got. Even if you've got all of the tools that were mentioned there, just try them all and see what difference you get between one background to another. So this time we're going for more layers of paint. Oh, I love these colours, Tracy. They're, they're really vibrant. I like the vibrancy of them. I mean, I'm more normally an earthy girl. But Are I you? Do, yeah, I, but I do love these colours. But we're adding a really good layer of paint for a reason this time. I'll bray that off late, later. So then going to take our stencil and you'll see why we added that white layer. So just uh, rub over yeah. your stencil. Okay. Wow. And then you get a nice Look white at layer. That. So I just hold that up. I just need to give that a dry, but that just gives Isn't that another technique with the stencil. And because you've added that white layer, it makes it pop and because you, you're adding good layers of opaque paint 
you're getting a good good consistency good thickness that is just paint. beautiful so that's the same stencil that i can just notice on the bottom of your apron yes, it as is. well there lots of dots lots of dots it's there in the uh, item that's on the screen right at the moment you're getting four stencils within this one weathered tiles mock croc lots of dots and broken circle four pound saving details there for you zero eight six zero eight four I can't believe I'm, I'm doing my first show and I'm already going off on a tangent. <laughs> and I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be That's doing. That's brilliant. <laughs> so we'll just give that a dry. Oh, this is a lovely email that's just coming in. Was it Christine, I heard you say? Christine has sent in a lovely email and she's saying it's her birthday coming up a week on Monday. And her lovely son has treated her and bought for a birthday. Oh, happy Come birthday and thank oh, you so much. That's amazing. Oh, I wonder if lovely. Christine's son's watching with her, I hope so, or whether oh, she's just got lovely. so excited and is overheard and thought, do you know, I'm going to treat my mum here. Oh, happy birthday. That's really kind. So, I've now got that's nice and dry. So, we're now going to use our um, hexagonal stem. Do you know, it's harder remembering the names than anything else. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember the names and they're my stamps. Now, you know you said you're usually more of an earthy girl. Yes. Do you know, one thing that I did think to myself when I first came and had a look at the set was I love the colours. And I, w I was so pleased we ha actually had pinks and bright colours yes. in there because we, we do all have different tastes. And some people, I think at times, if they're not kind of a grungy person, wouldn't automatically look at this style of stamp. But this goes to show you can create anything. It but doesn't matter. Whatever your colour scheme is, whether you go more for a pretty look, whether you go for a grungy look, you can achieve them all with each and every one of these uh, products here on the show today. But I think you've also made a good point about mixed media. Mixed media doesn't have to be browns and greys and dull. I'm still doing mixed media because I'm using different mediums. So media, mixed media can be colourful. It doesn't have to be on a canvas. It doesn't have to be all congealed together. It can still be clean and simple. It just means that you're using mixed, mixed media elements. So I've now got the flower. Perfect. Do you know, I'm hoping, Trace, I'm really hoping, and I'm sure there will be, people watching out there who maybe thought, no, nah, it's not so much for me, this, but I'm going to watch it. It's the one-day special. And are thinking, wow, what have I been missing here? This is something I can achieve. I am really, really liking the look of this, and I want to have a go. Do let us know if that's happening, actually. If you've maybe been converted <coughs> from a particular sort of style, that you maybe thought you wouldn't use before and now after seeing the demonstrations you're willing to have a go or you've been purchasing from the show as of course now abs is going to come back in with us uh, because we are getting close to the end of the show we've got about a minute left and i think that's just enough time for tracy to finish the card so we're going to keep an eye on what tracy's doing and here i'm just going to add the circle of wire which i call a spotlight amazing just to add this is obviously a very quick card i would add a lot more detail i would add some stenciling i would add some book pages and just it different looks elements. beautiful just as it is it really does she says of course now there's one minute left i can't put my stapler in <laughs> <laughs> so there i would add are. some book pages and some stenciling well i'm going to bring in the original just so you can see it as well so a completely different look because the stamps used are, are different oh, uh, i am going to pick that up as well tracy oh, we're down to the last 30 seconds so let me just compare those two not compare in a way that i'm trying to pick out a favorite just to show you the different looks you get from the different items used absolutely amazing hour there tracy thank you so so much back at eight o'clock abs will see you as well abs is still so giddy and excited has been looking forward to this for so long we are counting down don't go anywhere stay with us come back and see tracy eight o'clock and tomorrow of course as well thank you so thank much